Hello guys, welcome to Technomails. In this video, we are going to see the installation process of Armory Crate and Aura Creator. Okay, let's get into the video. First, you have to download the Armory Crate installer from this website. As always, the link is in description. Once the file is downloaded, extract it and then run it as an administrator. Now select the Armory Crate and Aura Creator and click Start. The installation process will take some time and in my case it took about 10 minutes. Once the installation process is completed, you can launch the Armory Crate from the dialog box but I accidentally selected later so I run it from start menu once the armory crate is open click I agree in privacy policy tab now select all the aura syncable devices and click aura effects and here you can see all the basic effects and the first one is static which means the selector color which stays still. I think you might have noticed that the previews changes instantaneously. In our sync old version, we have to click apply to view preview. Once you found the color that matches your taste, click OK. And the second mode is breathing. Here you can adjust the speed of breathing cycle by using the slider. can also click random if you need to change the color in every breathing cycle and you can also select a specific color and the third one is strobing which also provides the speed random and selecting particular color like breathing mode and the fourth one is color cycle which doesn't provide any customizable settings but it changes the gradient of the color smoothly and the fifth one is rainbow this is similar to color cycle but it has customizable settings such as adjusting speed and selecting color pattern. And the next one is Tarry Nights, which is similar to strobing in my opinion but it randomly selects the RGB header and flicks different shades of colors. If we select a color in background, it will be constant and the color that we selected in effect settings will be flick over the constant color. And now the music mode in which the intensity of the light increases and decreases according to the loudness of the audio. This mode has the control to adjust the sensitivity and also has four different styles of lightning such as audio spectrum, beatbox, waterfall and wave. And the next mode is Mart, 
in which the usage of CPU and the temperature of the CPU can be monitored and we can also adjust the threshold according to our needs. You can see that the color changes according to the CPU usage as I am decreasing the threshold to demonstrate how it's work. And the next mode is adaptive color in which the colors in the screen is used as the colors for RGB lights. We can also select a particular area in the screen to detect the colors by loading a screenshot in the customization panel and drag along the screenshot to select the area and click save. And it also has two styles. The first one is the average color in the detection area and the second one is the most common color in the detection area. The first one produces the color by mixing all the colors in the detection area and the second mode chooses the most common color which means the color which present in a large amount is used as the RGB color. Now you can able to get an idea about this mode and how it's work. And now let me check how it's work if I select a particular area in the screen. This mode is excellent but it also leads to much CPU usage while detecting the colors from the screen. And the last one is dark mode which shut down all the RGB lights. In the advanced effect we have Aura Creator where we can create the different types of light effects according to our needs by drag and drop the light effects from the panel to the timeline given below to create a stream of light. But we need the Aura Syncable devices to create the effect. In my case, I don't have any Aura Syncable keyboard or mouse to demonstrate this process. Anyhow, we are at the end of the video. Consider subscribing to our channel and thanks for watching.